Okay, I'm going to show you a real quick way that we can make some rollover buttons in Fireworks, export them to Dreamweaver, uh, that will make up a navigation sidebar. I'm going to go up to File, New. We're going to make the canvas width 165 pixels. That's the same width as the div tag that we're going to put the rollover images into in Dreamweaver. We'll make the height 31 pixels. We'll keep the resolution at 72. And it doesn't really matter what we use for the background because we're going to be putting a gradient in anyway. So we're going to go over to OK. OK, now that's loaded, we're going to go over to the vector tool set and we're going to select the rectangle tool. And we're going to draw a rectangle around the canvas. Um, it doesn't matter what size as long as it covers the whole canvas. When we go to export it into Dreamweaver, um, it's only going to export uh, whatever image remains or any objects that remain inside the canvas area itself. That's why it doesn't matter what size we make it. Okay, now that's drawn, I'm going to go down to the Properties Inspector. At the moment it's set to a solid. What we're going to do is we're going to change it from a solid to a gradient. So we're going to click on Solid. We're going to go up to Gradient. And there's plenty to choose from. Um, it's a quick tutorial though. For now we're going to select Linear. Now as you can see, the gradient's in place. I want you to go up to the Pointer tool and select that. Now you can, what you can do is grab the arm of the gradient and pull it up and down left and right and really adjust it however you want it to be. Now what I'm going to try and do is set the gradient uh, where the black meets the grey, somewhere in the middle there on the button. There we are. Yeah, that's about right. OK, now what you can also do with a gradient is change the colour. If you go down to the Properties Inspector, and just to the right of the paint bucket, there's um, a little window that you can press to change the colours with. Now, um, this is the gradient line. Now, if you go to that little box in the centre there and click, that will adjust that part of the gradient, the left side of the gradient. I'm going to choose a blue, but you can choose whatever you want to. Now, using this colour, you can't really see the gradient, so I'm just going to pull the arm up a little bit so you can see it. There we go. You might not see it too well on the screen, but trust me, the gradient is there. Um, now we're going to put in some text. I'm going to go to the text icon, which is in the vector tool set. I'm going to click inside the canvas, and then I'm going to type home. Now once you've done that, make sure you've got the pointer tool selected, and click and drag it to where you want it to be. That's about right. OK, I'm going to change the colour by clicking here on that window, and uh, change it to black. OK, as you can see we've got our button here now. This represents our up state. So when you load up the web page and the button appears, yeah, that's how it will initially appear on your web page. Uh, what we need to do is make a copy of this and also uh, make a, an over state so when you roll your mouse over it changes. And what that's effectively doing is swapping an image for another image. Now I want you to go to the States panel. If you don't already have that selected, you can go to Window, States, or Shift plus F2. Now what we want to do is make a copy of the button we've just made. So what we're going to do is right click and duplicate state. We're going to make one copy or duplicate after the current state. And it's going to appear underneath that state. Click OK and as you can see it's appeared underneath state 1. Now what we need to do is make a few changes to the second state so we'll click on the text after selecting the second state and we'll go down and change the colour I'm going to make it a sort of light purpley colour I think. Now for the background colour of the button I think we'll go for a filter so select the rectangle go down to the plus button next to the filter and we're going to go up to adjust color and invert color okay that's in place now as you can see they're exactly the same by clicking on state 1 and state 2 they're exact copies just different colors now it's time to export the button so I want you to go file export now before we create a folder to put our um, exported rollover images into, I just want to draw your attention to the top right hand portion of the screen under the Optimize panel. This is also found under Windows Optimize. Now it's set to JPEG 80. You don't really need a JPEG 80 for the size of the uh, or the type of rollover images that we're using. You can reduce it down to a JPEG uh, 
50 or you can even change it to a GIF file. We're going to click on the make new folder icon. Now I'm making a folder on my desktop, I'm going to call it buttons. Now we first selected our state 1 as the up image so in this box I'm going to put home underscore up. OK click on save. Now that's been exported, all we need to do is go to state number 2 by clicking on it and do exactly the same thing. So we'll go to file, export and this is our rollover image so the image when the mouse rolls over it we're going to call it home underscore over click save okay so now the great thing is we've already created our button so to make another button all we have to do is click on state and just change the text around so I'm going to go to the pointer tool and click on that and we'll go to sorry I'll go to the text tool and we'll click inside the text and we're going to type in about us. Okay, let's pop over to state 2 and we'll do the same thing and type in about us. Okay, there we go. And just check that they both look the same by clicking on state 1, then state 2 and we're going to export them out just exactly the same way file export now another good thing is because we've saved uh, two previous rollover images uh, to that folder it's automatically come up with the same folder so we're going to type in about us underscore up because this will be our up image and we'll go to state 2 and we're going to call that one about us underscore over OK, click on save. Now I'm going to make a few more buttons. Um, I'm going to make another three. And I think, to be honest, I'm going to change the colours on them because I would never put those colours on a website. So I'm going to make three more. And um, I'll see you over in the Dreamweaver tutorial.